Hey guys, it's Dumak here and welcome to episode 10 of my Crystal Palace career mode. The first game here, as you can see, is in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup against Wolves. If you did miss the previous episode though, we did have a very tough game. The first one was against Manchester United, the second one was against West Ham. The second one went better than the first one. Michi Bachwai got back on the score sheet after a few games of missing out. And we just won't talk about that Man United game. We went 1-0 up and then just got destroyed 4-1 I believe at the end and that's where King Green came in clutch in the comments saying that I need a new centre back and a new goalkeeper definitely so we will go through that further on in the video and I'll let you decide before we get into the video though if you do go on to enjoy hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel I'm going to bring this up I haven't done it before but 87% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed so if you aren't subscribed hit that red button down below and also hit the bell for notifications whenever these go live but as I said our first game against Wolves as you can see right there I'm surprised that Hamilton the Scottish side uh, they're in the Europa League I don't know what's going on there but let's go to the Molyneux Stadium with probably a youth side I'll probably mix it up because obviously that's what I do in the cup I give the youth players some time to shine Wolves actually have quite a strong lineup. we've got Silva, Diallo and Podence up top that could be quite dangerous for us. We're starting the Carabao Cup current top goal scorer Brandon Pierrick. He's top goal scorer joint with about seven other players. We've got Hennessy in goals, Ferguson, Cahill, Riedvald and Mitchell at the back. We've got McCarthy and Kiate in the defensive mid positions. Townsend and Schlup out wide. Brandon Pierrick in the cam position and Michi Bachwai is starting up top because we've got Benteke injured from the previous episode and I don't really have any other player to put there other than Bachwai who's seeming to do quite well. He's his form is upcoming again. That's a ball over the top. They like Daniel Podence so far. We're less than 10 minutes in. Those into the box onto the volley of Neves. A great save there by Hennessy. And seven minutes in, they're liking this right hand side. It's into Neves. And look at this on the volley. Connects with it beautifully. But when Hennessy is equal to it, it's out for a corner. Get these wheels players your way. The five at the back just. We can't do much about it, but can we? It's into Brandon Pierrick. He's away on goal. Brandon Pierrick against Patricio. He's missed it. I can't believe it. I was so, I was so sure he's going to score that Brandon Pierrick on the right boot. Oh, man. I was so sure he was going to tuck that into the back of the net. That's why I stopped talking. But never mind. He's missed it. And it was a good, good chance. Because remember last time we played against a five at the back team in Newcastle, I think it was. We struggled so much. It's into Brandon Pierrick now, he can skip away from one, we just need that extra man, and we find him into check Kiate. Kiate now, feeds it through, it's into Michi Bachwai, can he get a boot on that? Yes he can, and Patricio saves, Wolves messing about at the back, but they've got it away, could have just cleared it out for a throw in, it's into Fabio Silva now, good save by Hennessy, and we can pick that up and we can clear it with Mitchell. Oh no we can't, why don't I not boot that out for a corner or something, Wolves still have the ball, they're looking quite good. Fabio Silva still on the ball. McCarthy wins it. Still into Neves. Just a loose ball always falls in Wolves' favour. And now Nathan Ferguson attacks. And again the loose ball. But now it's into Vanagra. Is he going to whip it in? Yes he is. And Neves finally puts it in the back of the net. Look at that. It's just every single loose ball falls straight to Wolves. Wolves have gone 1-0 up. 32 minutes in. Wolves are looking solid right now. But or are they? We found it in to Brandon Pierre. can feed it through. Oh, that's not what I wanted to, but Townsend now whips into the box. Bolly clears. I thought that was going to be a through ball to Batch White. Not really, though. It's fallen into Batch White now. Now McCarthy he takes a touch, he hits it. Oh, it's a good save. Good save by Patricio. We're getting a bit rushed here and needing a goal. 55 minutes in. We want a goal. He's got nobody coming towards him. Nathan Ferguson doing a poor job of tracking back. It's into the box and it's Podence. And we're 2-0 down against Wolves. They fielded a strong side today. We fielded our youth lineup, But still in the end, it's, uh, it's just disappointing. The ball came in. And Ferguson wasn't really marking him that much. The ball came in. Hennessy just, I think it is at the back post. It's Mitchell who just doesn't really do anything. That leaves Podence to head it in. Podence somehow wins the header. He's two foot two and he still wins a header Nevis on the ball plays it back into Ennis now it's into Shabani and would you look at that it all came from Daniel Polens what is he even six foot and he's beating Kuyate to a header oh, I don't I can't even think of any way to defend this team right now because in game and verbally because we're just playing poor we just can't seem to beat Wolves today 
It's just a five at the back. I don't know how I don't know how to to attack against it. Oh, we've won it with Eze. Eze's won it. He can play it through. It's into Townsend now. He takes a touch. He hits it. It's a goal. Townsend scores. We've got a goal, but it's come at the wrong time because we've got a minute left in the game. I'm, I'm, I can't even like pretend I'm happy. A mistake from Wolves led us into that goal. Townsend took a touch and hit it past Patricio, but we've had so many chances. Even the start of the game, we had chances to go 1-0 up, but we've ruined it. And now we're looking good with three minutes added on. We've played it down. It's in to Wilfred Zaha, who puts that past the keeper. Or is it too late? Is it too late? I think it might be a bit too late. We've got two minutes. We've got two minutes to get a goal. Come on. Pressure them. Pressure them. Come on. Lose the ball. That's it. That's it. We couldn't even mount a comeback. Take, draw the game and bring it to extra time. It all came too late. It came too late. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It looked so good at the end. Zaha's goal couldn't change much and we've lost to Wolves 3-2. At least it's better than 3-0 but we've lost so it's not really not really a good thing if I say so myself. A bit annoying but that's what it is. 3-2 to Wolves today, 10 shots for them, 9 for ourselves, 8 on target for them, 6. They had more possession. I want to see how many saves Patricio did. 6 saves for Hennessy, 4 for Patricio. It felt like he made so many more saves than 4. But that's just me, a poor game in our standards until the final five minutes and just a little bit disappointed. Nathan Ferguson has messaged us to say sorry to let you down, it's not really his fault. Maybe one of the goals could have been contributed to him, but we move on, we move on. We've got the league to look forward to, we're battling for Europe, which is a good, good feat in itself. As you can see, three days later, or four days later, sorry, is the game against Leicester City. Currently sit third in the table. We are in sixth, only two points behind them though. So if we win this game, we'll go above them and into the European spots. The contracts were mentioned in the previous episode, I believe, and to try and sign some of these players again. So like Van Anho, Benteke, Townsend, we'll probably be signed again, Meyer. But one thing is, I don't know, how do I sign Bachwai off the loan deals anyway? Because it just says terminate loan. Can I not approach to buy him anymore? Is it past the point of no return for that one? Because we really need Bachwai. If we can't get Bachwai, then we're going to have to get somebody. Why is my guy bald now? I've just, <laughs> I've just realised this. Why is he bald? <laughs> What's happened here then? I swear we had a good head of hair last time. So Van Anhol has signed a new contract. Don't know what has happened to my manager. We will check that out right now before I do any more. Edit manager. That's what my manager's meant to look like. Where was that in the cutscene? I, I don't know. I'm so confused. Max Meyer has signed on a four year deal. Andros Townsend is with us for another three years as well. Are you kidding me? You want 94k for a signing bonus for a player that I'm just going to loan out in a minute. How about that? Just to just to satisfy you. Because I don't think we'll be getting 10 appearances anytime soon because we have better players in the centre-back position. That they're happy with it. And uh, Jach, Jaroslav Jach, is that how you going to say his name? He's here for another two years. I'm probably going to put him on the loan list. He is on the loan list anyway. So that'll be him. He's worth quite a bit. Oh, like our left back, Tyrick Mitchell, has also signed on a three year deal. So right now I'll leave the contract like this. So we've got Hennessy, Ward, Cahill, Woods, McGregor, Tavares, Innes, Wickham, Benteke, Tompkins, Dan, and obviously Batch Y, who are all going out of contract at the end of the season. So the players that are worth the most, so Dan, Tompkins, Benteke, Cahill and Ward and Hennessy. Do you want me to just leave them and let them go? Or do you want me to sign them and possibly sell them next season? Because you probably want to keep them signed on and then sell them and get the money. But let me know down in the comments what you want me to do. So these are the players that have been suggested to me. Sorted by position and you can obviously see the value on the right hand side. So we've got a lot of goalkeepers. So Look through this and let me know in the comments who you want me to sign. Obviously, Max Adams there could replace Ward if we don't want to renew his contract. 
Some of these plush are very expensive. And there we go. So we've only got a few strikers and forwards. Most of them have been centre backs and goalkeepers, which is what we really need, which is what King Green said as well. So let me know down in the comments if there's any one of these players that you definitely want me to go for. But it's just annoying because I don't know if I can approach to buy Batch Y already or not. Looking at the league now, we've got a game against Leicester City, as I said earlier. They're third in the league. We win, we go ahead of them, we lose, we drop loads of points to the other six teams that we're against for this European spot. Our lineup, we're back to the main one. Guaita starts in goals. Frimpong, Sako, Kuyate, and Valanjo at the back. Milojevic, the CDM. Turns in and Ben Rama, the wide midfielders. Eze in the camp. And Zaha and Bachwai start up top. We decided to drop Ayu and bring Zaha up top. Bachwai was missing for a previous few games. But for Leicester, Schmeichel starts in goals. Pereira, Soyunku, Evans, and Sinchenko at the back. Madsen, Ndidi, and Tielemans in the middle and Perez, Marega and Barnes up top. Obviously they did sell Jamie Vardy so they've replaced him with Marega. They've got Iheanacho on the bench and hopefully they don't disturb us too much at Selhurst Park. Let's get this game underway with Michi Bachwai, top goal scorer so far in the league but he was missing for quite a few matches as I said so what could he be on now if he kept up his form? And now once again they play it through to Marega. Now Jamie Vardy's replacement is Sintai Ozepet. There's a great tackle there by Sako. Frimpong wins the ball. I mean clear that away. A fantastic tackle there by Mamadou Sako. Now we can set it away. It's into Batchwai. It's away on goal. Being pulled back by Johnny Evans. Batchwai slots that. No he doesn't. I was... Oh, again I was sure. But Schmeichel saves. And we're through on goal again and we mess it up. I'm too confident with these players, I've learned that with Pierrick last time out and now Batchwai, I'm too confident that they're going to score. Madison chips it over the top by Jose Perez into the box, we can clear that with Sacco only as far as James Madison once again, now it's into Madison again and he scored. James Madison scored and just after we get a chance and I'm so confident Batchwai is going to score, I hit it, Schmeichel saves, we, they go up the pitch and James Madison slots that in the back of the net. It's just unfortunate. We tried to clear it with Kuyate. It just didn't reach anybody. Or was that Sacco? Sorry. But Madison scores. It's 1 0 to Leicester. And we're really struggling today. Don't know what it is. Zinchenko now on the edge of the box. Finds indeed it's back into Zinchenko. He takes a touch. And he puts it past Guaita. It's 2 0 here to Leicester. And we're being shown up at home by the shoddy defending. Here at Selhurst Park, we really need something special to happen. Or if we can just get that form from the... Oh, Ben Rama's been half... Ref! Ref! What's going on here? There's an agenda against us. Right, oh, Frimpong can't even deal with it. This is this is a shambles right now. Telemans plays it through. Morega now finds Barnes again. Good save by Guaita. Can we get there again? No, we can't. It's 3-0. They're literally paying us back for what we did to them. We beat them 5-1 in the cup. And now they're 3-0 up against us here. It's just... I just don't know what to say. It's just heartbreak. We just can't seem... We're just... Something's happened over the last few weeks. And ever since we failed to beat... I can't remember who it was. It Wolves in the five at the back in the league. We just struggled and Butch has been missing can play it back into Wilfred's eye, he skips away from one, Zaha from the edge of the box, it's a good save, great save by Kasper Schmeichel, and they, they're just looping the ball over the top, that's what they're doing, and it's somehow working, Zinchenko now, for Leicester, runs into the box, he's played it back into Madison, ah, oh, we've given away a penalty as well, he missed it, Madison missed it, and we've given away a penalty with Jeremy Frimpong, it just can't get any worse than this, can it? Ian Atchell's coming on the pitch. It is James Madison taking a penalty. Why has it hit me so late? And it's a goal. It's 4-0 to Leicester. Uh, I might cry right now. This is this is not a good thing. Very nicely done here. He's chipped it over. Jordan Eye's there. Can we get just a consolation goal in this game? Jordan Eye towards Schmeichel. Hits it. It's a good save. It's fallen into Michi Bachwai. Top goal scorer in the league. He extends that, but... It's not really a good thing to be celebrating about. I don't know why he's gone to celebrate. James Madison plays it over the top. Iose Perez heads that down. It's fallen into Iheanacho. 
He tries to run into the box. He has done so. How has he made the keeper? Oh, this is... This is it, isn't it? This is the downfall of Crystal Palace right now. Zaha finds Eze. And just before Eze can get it away. And they're through. They're through with Iheanacho. It is going to be 6-1. It's going to be 6-1 here. Iheanacho against Guaita. Yes, it is. This has just annoyed me so much. Jordan Ayer picks it up. Can find Michivac. Why can he get his 15th goal of the season? Yes, he can. But at what cost? We've conceded six. Why are you going to the corner flag? Don't go to the corner flag again. But why? I know you're leading the. I know you're leading the top goal scorer, but it's just not the time. There's a time and a place for things, and that's just not it. Pushing forward nicely. Good football. Why couldn't we have this a while ago? It's into Eberichez. He's away on goal. Can we get a third this game? Yes, we can. And just like the last one, it's just come too late. Why? Why do all the goals come in the final few minutes? It's 6-3 here. It's a fantastic game for the for the away fans or any neutral fans. But for myself and any home fans, it's just disappointing. And I just... He's coming off easy as well. We're bringing on Brandon Pierrick for a minute or so. When I say where do I start, there's nowhere to start. We've just been beaten at home 6-3. You can probably tell in my voice or maybe not that I'm just annoyed. Like, we Nothing we did worked. And all they did was the same as they did in 2016. Just chip the ball over the top. The players ran onto it. And that, that was their goals. Most of them anyway. 10 shots for them, 7 for us. They had more possession, more everything. But why? had a good rating, although the score. Guaita made 6 saves, Schmeichel made 4. Especially, see, what I find out in these two games that we've played, we've had a very early chance, a very, very early chance, that I was so confident that we were going to score that I just commentated as we were scoring. But we didn't. And then in both these games, we end up losing a lot of goals in the first and se second half. And then at the end of the second half, we get loads of goals in the final five minutes and it's too late. We have a West Brom game in five days. It just doesn't get better for us. It just really doesn't get any better. Max Meyer is coming to me saying he's disappointed that, I did that he didn't play. I know he signed a new contract, but I was just so frustrated at the start of that game. I just didn't want to risk bringing him on. A quick look at the top of the table, Liverpool lead the way, Leicester, Spurs, Man City, Man United, Everton and ourselves is how it goes, looking at how the youth team are getting on. So we've got Ewan Ward is the highest overall, he is a centre forward or a striker, has a good potential as well, as so does Thomas Iverson, probably going to sign some of these players onto the main team and then loan them out soon. But guys, it is the Christmas congested period and in the next episode, episode 11, we will be playing West Brom, who currently sit 18th. And I tell you this, we've got a game against Brighton the following Monday, I think it is, or the Sunday, so we've not got much time. But if we lose this game against West Brom, that's I think that's it for any European chance. How, how would we lose against 18th place? I don't know, but you'll see in the next episode how we get on. I apologise for not playing three games. But that game, the previous game, has just royally annoyed me so much. It's just totally annoyed me. I know we beat them 5-1 in the cup. But that's just... It's just annoying when it happens to you. It's great when you do it to another team. But when it happens to you once in a while, it is a, a very frustrating thing. And we've got to work. I've got to think what I need to do. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything you think I should do. Do I play 5 at the back for some tough games? Do I switch to five of the back, sorry, in a tough game? Or what do you think I should do? Let me know down in the comments. But if you somehow enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe down below. Hit the bell for more of these videos. Hopefully I won't be so frustrated in the next few videos. Hopefully I'll be happier and we'll be winning games and we'll be doing quite well. You've got to go through ups and downs really and this is a down period in this season. Hopefully the board still have full support in me though. But anyway guys, that's going to be it, so let me know down in the comments as well if you want me to improve anything editing wise or as I said, let me know what you think I should do to resolve this issue if we are struggling like that again. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.